All right, so I've got a bit of a question and I need some help answering it. There's this new rune that's being released into season 10. And to be honest, I'm not really sure if it's even gonna get released because it's very confusing and I, I kind of don't really understand much about it. I call it the Omni Rune, although I'm not entirely certain what its actual name is. Omni Prototype. Yeah, well this rune basically rolls the dice every so often, every time you proc the keystone or every time you go out of combat after a certain amount of time. You roll the dice and you get a random keystone. And for me right now, it's phase rush now this could be good potentially it could open up a lot of like oh you get a clutch aftershock keystone and then you get to tank something and maybe you die i don't really know how it might work but for me i kind of don't really understand what champion this was made with in mind uh now i picked quinn here today and i i'm actually interested in knowing in the comment section if you know any champions that might be slightly better for using it but i went with quinn uh my logic being that she can proc pretty much every keystone on the list in some degree and it's not too bad like aftershock press the attack uh, lethal tempo hail of blades she can make yourself predators really good on her uh, dark harvest we have right now that works i suppose eerie not so much comet not so much but we can still get use out of them at the very least i'm at a complete i, I just genuinely for the life of me cannot figure out like why this keystone was made and who it's meant to be used for it does seem like a kind of fun stupid keystone i mean like i mean based on some of the silly stuff that i've personally done on this channel it kind of makes sense that it would be a runestone that uh, a keystone that i'm in actually <laughs> interested in you know it's like league of legends but my runes change every 30 seconds very much seems like a title of a video that like i could definitely have but i uh i don't like to think about competitive play tremendously on the channel like it's this channel is all about fun and stuff, and I think this could be a really fun rune, but uh, help, help me here, because I really, I, I, I genuinely don't know what champion this is made for, and I, I think Quinn's a good one. I think Quinn could be a good one, although I think she probably would benefit better off from having just, like, a rune, a, an actual genuine rune that she uses throughout the course of the game. But I did a practice game of this before, and it was cool to get, like, you know, it's, uh, Predator every so often, and I could gank mid off a of Predator with my ulti and stuff like that, and that was really nice. Um... And Predator works in such a way, and so does Aftershock, that if you don't have an ability that procs Aftershock, it, like, literally won't give you the, the Keystone, which is, like, really, really useful. So, if you're playing, like, an AD carry, you're not missing out on, like, not having Aftershock, because, you know, or you're not missing out by getting Aftershock when you can't use it, because you're gonna get, like, more of the runes that you probably would be able to use. And same with Predator. Predator is only available when you actually buy boots. But, like, right now, we got Lethal Temple, which is... Which is, well, yeah, it works perfectly fine for me. But I guess we'll just kind of see how this game goes. I'm not going into this game with the, expli the explicit purpose of, like, hard stomping and winning. Because, honestly, I feel like maybe it weakens Quinn a, a little bit. But we'll see how well we get on. And I'm getting ganked here. Oh, I'm fine. I didn't die. Okay. Am I even remotely surprised that somebody called his secret and her secret came top that early on? Not not really, not particularly. That is not surprising. I mean, Vi is there. Oh, she actually turned on me. <laughs> Whew, I'm good. Oh, I'm scared. I'm good, but I'm scared. Okay, that hero minion stood in front of... Oh, that, the hero minion stood in front of my queue. Didn't really want that, but we're fine. <laughs> we can get our cutlass now. We're good to go. We're good to head back up to top lane. Get back to CS, and we just roamed around the jungle. I mean, I still blue buff and all that, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, we've got Glacial Augment now. Not too bad, I guess. I mean, we've got Glacial Augment and a cutlass. That could be, be kind of dirty. In all honesty, I don't think I'm going to be able to get any use out of it right now when the wave is this hard pushed up. But uh, I like to have an option, you know? All right, what are we going to get? Comet. That's useless. Guess we can try and use that, but I'm not convinced if that's going to do anything at all. Okay. Right, yeah, we'll, we'll try and use Comet. We'll try and give it the old shot here. Although this Kale is playing like super duper passively here. There you go. Take the Comet. Was it worth it? I'm gonna probably say no, to be honest, but. Mm. 
No, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say that none of that was worth it. You know what I could have done? I could have stopped watched that and I would have probably got the kill, but my, I'm sick and my brain doesn't work, so I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> absolve myself for that one as well. I'm that I'm not taking any blame for any of this. All right, I think we can actually gang this kill. Is there any point in that? <laughs> that was a bit of a pointless stopwatch. Wasn't gonna delay it. It was just delaying really rather than actually getting anything out of it. Still, not too bad. We got Graspy on dying right now. We're not gonna be able to like really make any usage of that. Uh, I think the enemy team, they are really playing for those uh, those dragons, which sucks considering where I am on the map. But I think we can get first terror out of this, which is gonna be big. I'm gonna get a lot of gold off of like just to slam off of Rift Herald. Let's see, 1400 gold. Uh, 1600 gold and one more hit 1900 gold not bad about 500 G from that right, I got a lot of gold I want to get myself blade rune king now I reckon actually mm, should I stay and try and get another charge off uh, I probably should now we got the ollie off all right I think we can maybe make something happen here I did I wait I got silenced what? I still got the kill. I wait. Did I? Oh, I got char. Oh, I see. I should have flashed it. My bad. I still got the pet. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm convinced that this person, even if they do have a Lee. No, I'm pretty sure they don't actually. What's the game plan here? What? What? I mean, you flash into the alcove, and then what? I don't think you thought that through as hard as you possibly could have. Morgana's here as well actually works for us <laughs> I don't mind that I'm just gonna leave now wait does she have vision on me she just put a ward down there there we go yeah I mean she was there she was hovering that way early actually <laughs> how am I on a killing spree what is this that was actually kind of a nice flash from the uh <laughs> from the uh the area there though to be fair I don't know wait we, we need to we need to move towards that in some way I'm ignoring that. I, I, I'm interested in this. Right, let's see if we can get this. Okay. Uh, I didn't see that dragon flash. <laughs> All right, they got a dragon. They're really playing for it though. They're really playing hard for it. Ah. Uh. I can't click it, dude. I can't click. How is it that some champions have a hitbox that like lets them cover the entire click, the click region of the, the lantern? Some champions just don't. They don't block it. You can just click straight through them. It doesn't matter. I was spam clicking on that trying to get out. I am 7-3 right now though. I do not think it has had a tremendous amount though to do with the fact that I have um, these like random, you know, abilities or random keystones every so- Oh, that hook from Thrash, dude! What was that? That was actually nutty. She didn't die. She might though. Oh, uh, she's dead now. Someone's dead. Right, qu enough of this kill. Enough of it. I think we probably just do an inhib actually. Or we just do, we just go for that. Maybe just a little bit worried that I don't have the tankiness to support this call. Or the damage for that matter. Right, Vi is up. If she just comes in and slaps Lee, we're in some deep trouble. Everybody's almost dead. Okay, we survived. <laughs> we survived. We killed the raid boss. I was expecting a, I mean, like, when I did my test run, just like, you know, um, ooh. I literally can't, sure. So many souls. I mean, I survived. Oh, she almost dodged me, dude. She went through the queue. This might work. I'm 100% dead here. Yeah, I, I, I saw that too late. I, 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 as I went in on it, I saw, you know, that the Morgana was there. That's rough. I got the assist still, which is fine. But, yep, yeah, no, you ever just see that? Like, see things happen in slow motion, but you're just like, your reaction time, you're just nowhere near ready to actually stop it from happening that was like literally just me right there (laughs) 
Oh, come on. <laughs> Honestly, Vi is one of these champions. I mean, she's 3 9, dude. Oh, she's got as a Trinity Force and Warrior enchantment. <laughs> she one bangs me, dude. What, what a joke that champion is. I know that many of you will not think it's ever a worthwhile sacrifice, but if I can ever trade one for one on a goddamn Vi, I will trade it every single time. As long as I take her with me. As far as I'm concerned, that's one annoying as hell champion that's just taken out of my life. Oh, here we go again. Oh, look her HP, dude. Look her HP. Don't go in on it. No, God. Actually, that kind of... Well... I had no mana, dude. So, honestly, this game's been alright. I mean, I've started to fall off a little bit. I feel the randomness of like the keystones is certain. I think it's made a, a more of a negative impact like the longer this game goes on. Where I, I can't rely on having like a good keystone in a team fight that's actually gonna like be able to do anything for me. It did, or it could come in clutch early though. Can I just? Yeah, that works. Yeah, I'll just, I'll literally just right click her to death. <clears throat> All right, what we got now? Aftershock. I actually think Aftershock's one of the ones that would be really good on Quinn. Let's see if we can bait Vi in it. Oh, me again. Don't think it's going to need much baiting, but we'll see. Okay. Well, that also works. Well, that was certainly the bait. Oh, dude, the Aftershock took no damage, man. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. For the prototype rune for giving me aftershock the vi did no damage to me and i got my revenge very good game you can decide for yourself whether or not you think that the uh the randomized rune thing is of any use to you uh i don't really know if i'm gonna be using it really at all ever again but if you have any suggestions for champions that it might actually be good on for real let me know because i have got no clue whatsoever but regardless i hope you did enjoy this at least if you if you don't want to play with it but you want to see like what it does and like maybe a champion it would actually be good on but i hope maybe like you figured something out here you realized okay as for me maybe i'll try it or maybe i won't uh but regardless if you didn't like this video or if you did watch all the way to the end there's no reason for you not to drop a subscription and uh give it a like as well thank you so much for watching take care love you goodbye